Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Ikra Bangla. A very special episode today about Ramadan. We will be discussing Ramadan stories. But before I start, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Jamila Gafur and some very special guests I have with me today, my children. So I'd like to introduce you to them. Assalamu alaikum, children. Wa alaikum assalam. So we'll start off with your names. Would you like to go first? Introduce yourself, please. Riyathat. Riyathat. Your name? Ayan. Ayan. And your name? Nabiha. Nabiha. And your name? Riyansha. Riyansha. Lovely, mashallah. You've got beautiful names. So, today we're going to be discussing Ramadan stories. As we all know, maybe you might know, um, in a few weeks' time, we are going to a special month. And in our religion, it's called Ramadan. Yeah, do you know? Ramadan? Yeah? And who knows uh, about the special month of Ramadan? Do you know? Can you put your hand up if you know? Yes? I know Ramadan is when the Quran was revealed and the, where we fast. Fantastic. So he knows when the Quran was revealed and that we fast in the month of Ramadan. Did you all know that? Yes. Fantastic. So children, the month of Ramadan is a very special month for us as believers, as Muslims. Ramadan is the month where God, Allah, sent down the Quran to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and gave lots of revelations, lots of information and guidance for us as believers to follow his rules. And one of the things that he sent down in the Quran was the month of Ramadan. Now, what Ramadan means is fasting. And fasting is something that we do to help us be strong, and healthy. It's something in the way that Allah, our Creator, has uh, given us information so we can be better people, right? Do you all want to be better people? Yeah. 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 And do good. Yeah. yeah. Be good for our parents and be kind. And that's what Ramadan is for. It helps us to build who we are and make us more stronger and good and be nice to people. It's like a reminder that we get every year, yeah? So, shall I start off with some stories and some information about Ramadan, yeah? Okay. So I'm just going to read a few things from the book um, about Ramadan, just so you have some information about it. So as we know that uh, Ramadan starts with the sighting of the moon, yeah? Who knew that? Did you know? Yes? When the moon is full. Yes, darling. And then Eid comes. Oh, that's the exciting part, isn't it? Eid. That comes after we've completed the Ramadan. And who knows how many days of Ramadan we fast? How many days are 30. there? 30. 30. Very good. So, with the sighting of the moon, uh, of the sighting of the moon, Shaban, one can feel the month of Ramadan approaching. Our hearts fill with joy an anticipation waiting for the beautiful month of Ramadan to come into our lives. We should be happy and respectful and prepare for the month of Ramadan. So what do you think one of the first things that we do to prepare ourselves for Ramadan? Um, yeah, do you want to answer? Um, get ready to fast. Get ready to fast. And how do you prepare yourself to fast? Um, by trying to fast before Ramadan. Oh, so you practice. Wow, that's really good, kids. One of the things you could do to prepare yourself is start practicing a few days. Maybe you could do a few hours. Maybe you could do uh, one or two days in the week and practice, your, practice and give yourself strength so you're ready for the month of Ramadan. And what else do you do? What do you do? to prepare yourself. Do you, do you wake up with your mum and dad? Do you? Who wakes up with their mum and dad? Oh, so as we also know in the month of Ramadan, we wake up um, in the morning, early in the morning. I know it's not a nice time to wake up because we're all in our deep sleep 
and everybody likes to sleep at that time. But why do we do it? We wake up. Yes? We do it for to, to do the suhoor. To do the suhoor. Fantastic. So why we wake up? Do you want to say your name again? Riyathat. Riyathat said we wake up for suhoor, which is very good because that's true. We wake up for suhoor, which is our morning meal that we have. Um, and it should be something light, something that's not too filling, that's going to make our body heavy. So that's our morning meal and that has to last us throughout the whole day. Yes? And what do you have for your morning meal? Um, I normally have some ajwa dates. Ajwa dates? Um, do you have like cereal or a croissant or maybe a bowl of rice? Um, I, I sometimes have cereal. Yeah, and what do you have, darling? Cereal. Cereal? And what do you have? Cereal. Cereal, and what do you have? Yeah. Eggs. Wow, that's very good. Eggs and cereal, a light sandwich, a small bowl of rice. That's all good for you. That's really good. You've got some nice food choices. So in the month of Ramadan, we learn patience. Who knows what patience means? Oh, your turn. Waiting. Waiting. And what do you think it means? Uh, wait for other people to do their stuff. Wait for other people to do their stuff. Patience. And what does patience mean to you? Patience means to me like um, what you're like, you're not like someone doing something and then you really want them to do it now, but they just can't. Do, if you have to wait for them, that's patience. That's patience, fantastic. So my children, what does patience mean to you? You heard from our guests what they think patience mean. So patience is when you wait for somebody to do something or when you need something and it hasn't happened or you want something and it hasn't arrived, but you wait. Patience means sabr. And in the month of Ramadan, sabr, which is in Arabic, means patience in English, Sabr means to wait for something or when you need to do something and you can't do it. You're waiting and you're not rushing. So like for example, um, maybe you're really hungry. What do you do? And you really want to eat, but you can't because you're fasting. Yes, darling. What, what would you do to show your patience? Um, wait. You would wait, yeah. Unless you're really, really hungry and you can't wait. Allah doesn't burden anyone, that means Allah doesn't want to make it hard for you. If you're really hungry, and because you've got tiny, tiny little tummies, then maybe you might be able to have a little snack and then continue again, because at the moment you're just practicing, aren't you? Yeah, because you're small now, you're practicing. But once you reach the age of seven, you can start practicing a bit more. And then when you get a bit more older, like when you're 10, 11, 12, you can really start practicing the month of Ramadan because it's fard upon us. Fard means compulsory and compulsory means it's a must so we have to do it. But before then you can just practice and build yourself up to be strong and be ready to really do the whole month of Ramadan. Does that sound good? Yeah. yeah. So what do you look forward to um, at iftar time? Iftar means the evening meal which is when we break our fast it would be around sunset. So just after sunset prayer, which is Maghrib. Do you know what Maghrib is? What's Maghrib? It's the prayer in the sunset. In the sunset. So Maghrib is the prayer in the sunset. And just after the Adhan, which is the call of prayer, has been done, we can break our fasts, yes? Which is called Iftar. Now who enjoys their Iftar? Oh, and what do you have for iftar? Yes, darling. Ajwa dates again. Oh, you break your fast with ajwa dates. What is one of the first things that we should break our fast with when we break our fast at iftar time? Anybody? Yes? Ajwa dates. Ajwa dates, very good. And what else? Do you know? Do you know what else we break our fast with? Water. Yeah? When we've been fasting all day, I'm sure all of us are very thirsty, aren't we? And we all want a glass of water. So we break our fast with water and ajwa dates. And then what do you like eating? Our main meal. And what's that? 
basically um, some rice, a bowl of rice and some sort of meat. Some sort of meat. And do we have any sort of vegetables and fruits no. in our meal? Yeah, what do you like eating? What vegetables and fruits do you like eating? Apples and tomatoes. Wow, that's one of my favourites too. And you, what do you like eating, darling? Carrots. Carrots. Carrots are very good for you. And what do you Carrots like eating? Um, orange. Orange. Wow. You've listed some of the really important fruits and vegetables that's really important in our diet because why is it important to eat healthy food in Ramadan? Yes, darling. And it also helps you get healthy as well as fasting. Very good. And why, why is it important that we eat healthy food in the month of Ramadan? And even to prepare before we've started fasting, it's important we, we teach our body to eat healthy. Yes? And why is that, darling? Do you know? So it can keep your whole body strong. <gasps> wow. So it can keep our whole body strong. That's amazing. That's very good. And do you know why? Do you want to say something? No? So, it's very important we eat fruits and vegetables when we break our fast because you've been fasting all day and your little bodies are so tired. So you want to eat something healthy and that's going to give you energy and not make you feel sleepy and tired because your body's not eating all day. So when you give yourself food, make sure it's something healthy, uh, nice vegetables and a balanced meal with meat, rice, or soup. Does that sound good? Yes. Yeah. And what else do you like about the month of Ramadan? Do you want to share with me? Yes, darling. I like the feeling when you when you really need to eat and drink, but you can't, and then you get to do it in the end. And how does that make you feel? That's a really good point you made. And how does that make you feel? I just feel relaxed after. And do you feel like you've achieved something because you wanted to eat? and you couldn't and you waited and that's yeah. called patience. Remember we were discussing about patience? Yeah. So that's something called patience, that's really good. And what about you? What do you really enjoy when you fast? What do you like about it? Playing. Playing. You like playing when you're fasting? That's nice. And how about you girls? What do you like when you fast? What do you like doing? Do you like listening to the Quran? Do you like reading a book? Playing with your friends? Yeah? Which one do you like doing? Playing with my friends. Playing with your friends. That's always fun, isn't it? And when you play with your friends, do you be nice to each other and share? So that's another thing in Ramadan that we learn about kindness, sharing, and being nice to each other. Even when we're playing with our friends, we can be nice and kind and share. So, for example, if you want to play with a toy, but your friend wants to play with it too, what do you think you would do? Give it to her. Give it to her. Very good. So, in the month of Ramadan, if we be really nice and really kind and share, we get lots of points. Lots and lots of points. Allah writes it all down and he gives you lots of points and reward for sharing. Okay? Now... <clears throat> Ramadan is that blessed month in which Allah showers his mercy and blessings and encourages us to be good servants to him. His servants excel and do good <coughs> deeds. Performing good deeds is easier in the month of Ramadan as Allah opens his gates of mercy. Does anybody know what that means? Yes, darling. I think that he, the gates of heaven. Yeah, and the gates of mercy. Who knows what mercy means? Can we try? I know what it means, but I can't really explain. You can't. So Allah's mercy, which means when Allah wants to do good for you. So say if you done something bad, like you didn't listen to your mummy when she said tidy your room. And if you did it in the month of Ramadan, Allah shows you mercy, kindness, and he'll give you lots of reward, especially in the month of Ramadan. So mercy means when Allah shows you kindness, and forgives you, yeah? Well done. So Ramadan has come to you in this blessed month. Allah has made it obligatory upon us to fast. The gates of heavens are open 
and the gates of hellfire are closed. To Allah belongs a night in which is better than a thousand months. Whosoever pretended, prevented from its good, then he has been deprived. So, I know that's a lot of words. Do you know what that means? Okay. So in the month of Ramadan, Allah's gates are open, His, the heavens are open, and the gates of the hellfire are closed. And whoever does good will be going to heaven. And whoever does bad, well, the gates will be closed for him. So we have to try our best to be good and do good things and be nice to each other, be polite, have good manners, which is adab. Good manners is adab in Arabic. And who knows what good manners is? Yes, darling. It's basically when you do something that has, that has some manners, for example, eating with your mouth closed, because eating with your mouth open sometimes looks disgusting to is other people. Is bad patients. manners. Very good. So eating with your mouth open is bad manners and eating with your mouth closed is good manners. Fantastic. That's a really good point. And yes, darling, you wanted to say something? No? Anybody else? Do you want to say something? Yeah. You wonder when the hell gates are closed? Yeah. Um, are the shaitans in there? Allah mentions in the month of Ramadan, shaitan is locked up. In hell? Shaitan is locked up in hell, yes. Shaitan is in hell and he's on earth, but Allah locks him up. We can't see it, but only Allah knows where he locks him up. But we can be reassured that shaitan is locked up so he can't do bad things to us because that's the month of Ramadan that we can earn so much reward and so much benefit from this month by being good because then shaitan can't encourage us or make us do bad things because Allah is protecting us and letting us do good things so shaitan can't get in the way. What about the other one, like the evil eye? So all these things in the month of Ramadan you're protected from as long as you ask Allah for help and you read the Quran. Now we're going to move on to the next chapter which is about the Quran. Who knows what the Quran is? and why it was sent to us. Yes, darling. Some of the bits have Allah's name and it's our friend. Very good. And you were going to say something? Um, the Quran is basically a holy book that, that was revealed from Allah to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, very good. So the Quran is our holy book that was sent down to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. And this book is our guidance, yeah? So this book teaches us how we should be, how we should live our life, and what we have to do to achieve heaven, which is our main goal, yes? It's like when you do really good work at school, does your teacher give you a reward? Yes. Yeah, what does she give you? Dojo's. Jojo. Jojo points, yeah? What does she give you? Happy faces. Happy faces. And what does your teacher give you? when you do really well at school? Or even your mum and dad, do they reward you with sweets? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes taking you out. Yeah. yeah. So Allah, our creator, who made us, guess what he rewards you with? Points. Points. Um, the, the more points for heaven. Very good. So Allah, our creator, rewards us with points and heaven. Very good. So our reward for being good is heaven. And heaven means paradise. Can you say paradise? Paradise. Paradise. And in Arabic, who knows what it's called? Jannah. Yes, darling? Jannah. Yes, darling? Sometimes you can call it tropical paradise. Wow, that sounds really exciting. Tropical paradise. Yes, you can call it that. So in Arabic, what do we call it? Do you know? Go on then. Janna. Janna. Tell me your name again. Ayan. Ayan. Are you a bit shy? <laughs> so in Arabic it's called Janna and that's our main goal. <coughs> so when we do good things and we be nice to each other and we follow the guidance from the Quran and we, we, we read it and we have to understand it. We can't just read the book in Arabic and not understand what it means. So one of the important things in the month of Ramadan 
is, do you know? Yes? Reading the Quran and reading the Quran it. and understanding it. Fantastic. So the important thing about reading the Quran is not just to read it, but you have to know the meaning, what it means of what you are reading. So you understand what Allah is telling you to do. Yes? And do you go to um, Madrasa? Do you, yeah. do you learn? Yeah? yeah? Wow. And what have you learned so far? Have you learned your surahs? Um, I do know some. Do you? Very good. Are you on the Quran? I'm on Sifara. Are you on Sifara? Okay. So as you go to your lessons, you will understand that the month of Ramadan is so special to us. And if we read the Quran in that month, you get so much reward, lots and lots and lots. You'll get lots of reward from Allah and he will write it down and give you lots of points. Like in your school when you get Jojo points, but you get them in Allah's book and he writes it down for you. Yeah? I think it's an angel on my right hand, on my right side that writes it down. Very good. So we have two angels, one on the right and one on the left. The one on the right writes down your good deeds and the one on your left write down, writes down your bad deeds. So if you did something really nice, like you opened the door for somebody or you made your mum something to drink, you're not old enough to make her a hot drink. <laughs> but if you gave your mum a drink and you offered her something, that's something good and the angels will write it down for you. Or say, for example, um, at iftar time, you helped your parents to prepare. You could have wiped the table, you can tidy your room, you can look after your younger brother or sisters. And that's a really good deed. And your angels on your shoulders, they're going to write it down and say, oh, this little girl, she was really helpful today and she helped her mum, she tidied her room, she played with her friends and she was really kind. So well done, well done for talking about the angels. So the month of Ramadan is about mercy. Fasting is a special act of worship of the month of Ramadan, which was made mandatory for us. Our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, fasted in the month of Ramadan. Fasting was also third obligatory in the previous nations. So the people that came before us they also had to fast. Many, many years ago, there was lots of people before us and they also had to fast too. Yes, darling? What about the people that always get sick when they fast? People that get sick when they fast don't have to fast um, on that particular day because Allah, God, is most merciful and he has mercy on us. He does not burden us more than we can bear. Okay, my lovely children? Did you enjoy the Ramadan show today? Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. I really enjoyed having you on the show today. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all have a blessed Ramadan, inshallah. Enjoy your time in Ramadan. Be patient, be good for your parents, be good for yourselves. And inshallah, Allah will reward you greatly. Thank you so much for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bolly, 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 you should look.